Math 6 Quarter 3 Week 2 Milk Base Let's learn about Writing Rules for Sequence Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 6, we will discuss about writing rules for sequence. This is week 2 of quarter 3. For most essential learning competencies, formulates the rule in finding the nth term using different strategies, looking for a pattern, guessing and checking, working backwards, and differentiate expression from equation. Look for the pattern in the sequence of encircled numbers. The encircled numbers 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 28 form a number sequence. A number sequence is a list of numbers in which successive terms follow a rule or a pattern. Each number in a sequence is called a term. If we take any two successive terms of the circled numbers on the calendar, the difference between them is 4. Also, if we add 4 to the previous term, we will get the next number in the sequence. Therefore, the rule in the sequence 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 is adding 4 to the term before it. Let's see how. 4 plus 4 equals 8. 8 plus 4 equals 12. 12 plus 4 equals 16. 16 plus 4 equals 20. 20 plus 4 equals 24. And 24 plus 4 equals 28. We add 4 to the term before it. Let's study the following sequence. For sequence letter A, the terms are 3, 6, 9, 12. The rule is, every term after the first is obtained by adding 3 to the number preceding it. Like, 0 plus 3 equals 3. 3 plus 3 equals 6. 6 plus 3 equals 9. And 9 plus 3 equals 12. Or, multiples of 3. Like, 3 times 1 equals 3. 3 times 2 equals 6. 3 times 3 equals 9. And 3 times 4 equals 12. So that means the rule is adding 3 to the number preceding it or multiples of 3. The n term rule is 3n, and the next 3 term is 15, 18, 21. That is 12 plus 3 equals 15, 15 plus 3 equals 18, and 18 plus 3 equals 21. For sequence B, the terms are 1, 4, 9, 16. The rule for this is multiply the counting numbers by itself or squaring counting numbers. So to get the term, multiply the counting number by itself. Like 1 times 1 equals 1. 2 times 2 equals 4. 3 times 3 equals 9. 4 times 4 equals 16. The n term rule is n square. And for the next three terms are 25, 36, and 49. How do we get that? That is 5 times 5 equals 25. 6 times 6 equals 36, and 7 times 7 equals 49. For sequence letter C, the terms are 3, 1, negative 1, negative 3. Every term after the first is obtained by adding negative 2 to the number preceding it. Like, how do we get the first term 3? That is, 5 plus negative 2 equals 3. Then, 3 plus negative 2 equals 1. 1 plus negative 2 equals negative 1. Negative 1 plus negative 2 equals negative 3. The n term rule is negative 2 times n, negative 1 plus 3, or 5 minus 2n. 
And the next three terms are negative 5, negative 7, negative 9. How do we get that? So negative 3 plus negative 2 equals negative 5. Negative 5 plus negative 2 equals negative 7. Negative 7 plus negative 2 equals negative 9. For sequence letter D, the terms are 2, 3, 4, 5. Here are the rules. First term, 1 plus 1 equals 2. Second term, 2 plus 1 equals 3. Third term, 3 plus 1 equals 4. Fourth term, 4 plus 1 equals 5. The end term rule is n plus 1. And the next three terms are 6, 7, 8. How do we get that? That is 5 plus 1 equals 6. 6 plus 1 equals 7. And 7 plus 1 equals 8. For the sequence letter E, the terms are 2, 4, 6, 8. Here is the rule. First term, 2 times 1 equals 2. Second term, 2 times 2 equals 4. Third term, 2 times 3 equals 6. And fourth term, 2 times 4 equals 8. The n term rule is 2 times n or 2n. And the next three terms are 10, 12, 14. How do we get that? That is 2 times 5 equals 10, 2 times 6 equals 12, and 2 times 7 equals 14. For example number 2, the terms in the sequence are 2, 5, 8, 11. Let us use this pattern. Working backwards, you will notice a pattern that subtracts 3 to get the next term on the left. Let's study the pattern. 11 minus 3 equals 8. 8 minus 3 equals 5. And 5 minus 3 equals 2. Now, think of a way on how you will get each term having a common difference of 3. Let's study the pattern. So, 5 minus 2 equals 3. 8 minus 5 equals 3. And 11 minus 8 equals 3. They have common difference, which is 3. Using guess and check strategy, let n represent a counting number. Still, the sequence is 2, 5, 8, 11. Let us guess the pattern. 2, 5, 8, 11. Guess 3 times n plus 1. Then check 3 times 1 plus 1 equals 4. The conclusion is, this rule is wrong because the first term in the pattern 2, 5, 8, 11 is 2, not 4. Another guess is 3 times n minus 2. To check, 3 times 1 minus 2 equals 1. The conclusion is, this is also wrong. The first term should be 2, not 1. As you can see in the sequence, 2, 5, 8, 11. Another guess is 3 times n minus 1. Then check, 3 times 1 equals 3, minus 1 equals 2. Still, the sequence is 2, 5, 8, 11. So 3 times 1 equals 3, minus 1 equals 2. The answer is 2. So the first term is 2. The rule is exact for the first term which is 2. Let's also check the rule for the other three terms. 3 times 2 minus 1 equals 5. 3 times 3 minus 1 equals 8. And 3 times 4 minus 1 equals 11. The rule is also exact for the other three terms. So the end for the sequence 2, 5, 8, 11 is 3 times n minus 1 or 3n minus 1. In this example, the rule 3n minus 1 is what we call expression, while 3n minus 1 equals 4 is what we call equation. Let's take a look of this table. The expression and the equation. The first expression is 2 plus 5 and the equation is 2 plus 5 equals 7. Next expression is 2y plus 4 and then the equation is 2y minus 4 equals 14. Another expression is 14 minus 3. The equation is 14 minus 3 equals 11. Another expression is 
5n plus 6. The equation is 5n plus 6 equals 26. And the last expression is 10 divided by 2. The equation is 10 divided by 2 equals 5. In the table, the given in the first column are examples of expression while second column are examples of equation. An expression is a number, a variable, or a combination of numbers and variables and operation symbols while an equation is a mathematical statement where values of two mathematical expressions are connected by equal sign. Let's do learning task 1. Study the following sequence of figures. Then, draw the next figure and write the related number sequence for each illustration. Number 1. Multiply the counting numbers by itself or squaring counting numbers and square. Let's see. The first picture is 1 times 1 equals 1. Second picture, 2 times 2 equals 4. Third picture, 3 times 3 equals 9. And fourth picture, 4 times 4 equals 16. So that means, to get the term, multiply the counting numbers by itself. Then let's draw the next term. 5 times 5 equals 25. Number 2. Every term after the first is obtained by adding counting number to the number preceding it. Here's how. 0 plus 1 equals 1. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 3 plus 3 equals 6. 6 plus 4 equals 10. So the next term is 10 plus 5 equals 15. Number 3. For me, the rule for this is 3 times 5 equals 15 or 5 times 3 equals 15. Let's draw another 6 squares or cubes. So that is 3 by 5 or 5 by 3 or 3 times 5 equals 15 or 5 times 3 equals 15. Number 4. How many matches have been removed in the second picture? Let's answer. There were 30 matches in the first picture. And the matches that have been removed in the second picture is 13. 13 matches have been removed in the second picture. For learning task 2, write whether each number is an expression or an equation. Write the answers on a sheet of paper. Number 1, 16 minus 6 equals 10. Is it equation or expression? Very good! The correct answer is equation. Number 2, 4 times 2 plus 1. Is it expression or equation? Very good! The correct answer is expression. Number 3. X divided by 25. Is it expression or equation? Very good! The correct answer is expression. Number 4. Y plus 8 equals 40. Is it expression or equation? Very good! The correct answer is equation. Number 5. 2x plus 10 equals 2 open and close parentheses x plus 5. Is it equation or expression? Very good! The correct answer is equation. Number 6. 8x plus 12. Is it equation or expression? Very good! The correct answer is expression. Number 7. 2 plus 3 times 4. Is it equation or expression? Very good! The correct answer is expression. Number 8. 3 plus 1 times 5 equals 20. Is it equation or expression? Very good! The correct answer is equation. Number 9. 3y minus 4. Is it expression or equation? Very good! The correct answer is expression. And number 10. 4x equals 12. 
Is it equation or expression? Very good! The correct answer is equation. For learning test 3, find the 3 next n term of the sequence. Number 1, 7, 11, 15, 19, 23. Add 3 to each term. The next 3 n term are 27, 31, and 35. Number 2, 1, 9, 17, 25, 33. The rule is add 8 to each term. The next 3 term are 41, 49, and 57. Number 3, 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. The rule is add 3 to each term. The next 3 term are 17, 20, 23. Number 4, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. The rule for this is add 9 to each term. And the next 3 term are 54, 63, 72. And number 5, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Add 1 to each term. The next 3 terms are 18, 19, 20. For learning task 4, Find the pattern and write its expression. Number 1, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So that is 9 plus 3 equals 12, 12 plus 3 equals 15, 15 plus 3 equals 18, 18 plus 3 equals 21, 21 plus 3 equals 24. And the next three terms are 27, 30, 33. The rule is add 3 to each term. Number 2. 45, 40, 35, 30, 25. The rule is, subtract 5 to each term. 50 minus 5 equals 45. 45 minus 5 equals 40. 40 minus 5 equals 35. 35 minus 5 equals 30. 30 minus 5 equals 25. And the next 3 terms are 20, 15, 10. For number 3, do this by your own. For number 4, 4, 8, 12, 16. The rule is, multiply by counting numbers. Like 4 times 1 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. 4 times 3 equals 12. 4 times 4 equals 16. And the next 3 terms are 20, 24, 28. And for number 5, 1 half, 1, 1 and 1 half, 2, 2 and 1 half. The rule is, add 1 half to each term. 1 half plus 1 half equals 1. 1 plus 1 half equals 1 and 1 half. 1 and 1 half plus 1 half equals 2. 2 plus 1 half equals 2 and 1 half. And the next 3 terms are 3, 3 and 1 half, 4. For letter A, given the sequence, formulate a rule for the given sequence. 0, 3, 6, 9. The rule is add 3 to each term. The next three terms are 12, 15, 18. Number 2, 3, 6, 12, 24. The rule is multiply by 2. 3 times 2 equals 6. 6 times 2 equals 12. 12 times 2 equals 24. 24 times 2 equals 48. 48 times 2 equals 96. And 96 times 2 equals 192. And for number 3, 11, 9, 7, 5. The rule is, subtract 2 from each term. Like, 11 minus 2 equals 9. 9 minus 2 equals 7. 7 minus 2 equals 5. Then, 5 minus 2 equals 3. And 3 minus 2 equals 1. And for letter B, write your own example of expression and equation. Give 5 example of an expression and give 5 example of an equation. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!